My name is Jake, and this is going to be my journey with learning to play pool and just having fun with pool. So I got a couple of things I want to show you. So we'll start out with first the unbox because why waste time? Just got this from Amazon this morning. My new pool stick. Let's see what it looks like. Now this pool stick is only $58. It's made by QSoul. Need to get a couple of things to open it. Okay. Let's see. Like, uh, wow, they really they really packed it in here so it doesn't get wrecked on delivery. So Is. It's pretty nice. Give you a little cloth. It's a microfiber cloth. It's nice. And here it is. It's a nice looking stick. And I got the 11.5 millimeter tip right there. I like a smaller tip so I can manipulate the ball, cue ball a little more. They give you some, this is what the uh, end looks like. And this has got the linen wrap. So this is like little thread wrapped around there. It's a nice stick. And this is the end of it, it's q -so. It's a 19 ounce. It says 19 ounce right here. Look real close. So you know it's a 19 ounce stick. And there's a key sole. And at the ends, they have these protectors. So take the protectors out. Put my stick together. Okay. I think I'm going to like this stick already. And the reason why I like it because it's got the metal right here in between. Yeah. And it's a little bit shorter, but I don't mind it. Feels good. Okay. Feels nice. <laughs> So this is $58, this is a Q-Soul. And then uh, I want to show you another thing too. This is a stick, this is a McDermott. Lucky, the lucky one. Uh, this was $90. Uh, they're about the same height. But the tips are different sizes. This one's a 13 millimeter, this one's 11.5. And I started to notice that when I try to spin the cue ball, I'm always hitting at the edges more. So with a smaller tip, I should be able to get around the radius of the cue ball a lot easier. This one was 19 ounces and I took the weight off the bottom. And I got masking tape just to keep it from getting scuffed up, but it's now about, uh, just about 18 ounces. So this is 19, this is 18. I'm sure I should be able to remove the weight because I like a lighter stick actually. So let's see. Okay, there's another thing I want to show you that I also ordered. This is the, uh, the GSC bag. I already opened it and checked it out. And I wanted the bag that wasn't like the golf cart bag because this is the only bag that they had that I could see that was like a horizontal open bag. And I like that better because the ones where you stick it in, it's like stuff can get stuck in there and then, you know. Anyways, I like this bag. It's got some pockets put some stuff in there 
I like this one because like you could put a sandwich in here. Put a ham and cheese, cousin sub, extra mayo, extra onions. So you could eat while you're uh, in between in between play at a tournament or something. And let's open this up. It's also got the strap so you can like you know carry it like this. And it was inexpensive, which is even better. <laughs> And then you can put your sticks in here to four pieces in there. Got some cushion. Oh, you got no more room over here. Okay, just learning how you can have a jump cue in here. You can have a break cue, a playing cue, and a jump cue. One, two, three. Three, three big ones for the butts and four for the shafts. So let's, uh, let's make use of this bag right now. I'm gonna put the this in here. Okay. Along with I'll put my lucky cube first. This. So this would be where the this goes. I guess that's how that goes. Yep. And this would be where is that how that goes in? Or should it be the other way? I don't know. They're both gonna have one side sticking out anyways. Now for the new stick. Can't wait to use this. It's got a smooth, definitely a smooth right there. And this one I'll put the uh, the protectors that they give you. Put them back in. One over here. Put the protector on there, which is nice. That. And I'll stick it in here. Okay. And then this one put the protector for this. Now I only started playing pool about a year and a half ago. I've only been in three tournaments. But one thing I noticed right away is I got the pool bug, <laughs> so I like playing pool. And this was the stick that I originally had in my other channel. This is a, a, actually a Q Tech 360, and I got this from a local pool player who said, I want to give you this stick for 10 bucks. So if you watch that video, I talk more about it. But eventually, this stick uh, accidentally got broken, and I glued it back together. I'll make a video so you can see how I glued it back together, but it still shoots straight. And the story behind this stick is why it's missing the back end, but I called it the Franken stick. Uh, the original owner wanted it back. So the original owner gave me, the original owner was like, I sold it to that per the bartender, and the bartender sold it to that person, and that person sold it to me eventually, because I really liked this stick. And the price was, I'll give you a hundred bucks for it. I'm like, okay, cool. I took the hundred bucks, got myself the McDermott stick for $90, and I still have this. So I've been practicing uh, jumping with this. So I guess if I put a, a, a bat, um, an end on it, I could probably use it to jump, you know, as a jumping cue. So I, I don't have any chalk on it just to practice without the chalk because they're always telling you at the pool hall, don't use any chalk on your, your end, which I never understood. But anyways, I'm still learning. So if you want to follow along on the channel, uh, we can have a nice journey. All right. Okay, so this is my um, Q-Tech 360, and I'm going to stick it in here. So now I actually have three shafts, looking like a pro. <laughs> I got two butts, three shafts, I got a bag, zip it all up like this, got one of those, so I can carry my can carry my bag like this as I go into the pool hall. I can put it in my bag like this, you know. So, all right. Thanks for watching the video, and uh, follow along for more more videos at the pool hall. And here's the other thing too: when I go to the pool hall and I'm filming, they got music playing, so it's copyright music. So you just kind of have to listen to the music that I add on, which is our music. But just watch the shots. I can get them in. Bam! All right. Thanks for watching.